What's up, Squatty? So I'm really looking forward to this one because today we have Miss Darcy. And Mr. I don't got old money, but I got old photos. Tom Brooks. <laughs> what can I say? The action speaks for itself. The comedy is pre-written. I'm just uncovering the hieroglyphics, highlighting them bad boys to save you hours of your precious life. De nada. Now, contrary to popular beliefs, I don't watch these episodes as they come out. Like, I kind of just pick a couple I think I'll enjoy, pop in the clip and review them as I watch them. It keeps me on my toes. I dig the surprises. And this is all real-time, genuine reaction. I am with you. Now, if you haven't watched part one, go ahead and check that out unless you're a rebel that's cool too but last we left off we met darcy again and her new man mr tom brooks who was caught flexing with stolen photos what a loser well, anyways they end up meeting for like the first time and she finds out this man looks relatively nothing like his photos uh because the dude's a geometry photographer 90 degree red angle for days best in the business but of course desperation prevails so anyways he takes her back to the rent to airbnb for the magic juice and like a bird call darcy starts balling Tears. Pretty much over anything and everything. I kid you not, you, you probably could have said I, I saw a dog do a car wheel over Mars and she probably would have shed a tear. <laughs> I know I would, cause cause that'd be kinda amazing, actually. But anyways, here we are following up with our favorite disaster. So let the fun begin, shall we? Let's get it. Tom's taking me to a cricket lesson today, but there's something a little awkward that I have to ask Tom about. I definitely want to meet Tom. Just want to make sure you're with the right person. I think we need to meet each other's loves, you know? It's just, it's time. Now here's the dilemma. So her and Miss Stacy decide to plan this double date extravaganza in the middle of nowhere Albania to kind of compare and contrast relationships. <laughs> Cause let's be real, that's what twins do. Now the issue is supposedly Mr. Tom Brooks already had planned dates in the beautiful island of Gran Canaria. Tom planned a special romantic getaway for us in the beautiful islands of Grand Canaria. Now do I personally believe that Tom Brooks, Mr. Tom Brooks, really had plans in Grand Canaria after the whole Instagram fiasco. Long version or short version? I don't know. No. But you'd be surprised how far people go to portray this lavish lifestyle. The power of ego is a heck of a drug, believe that. Anyway, so he takes her out to play cricket, a popular sport in England for only the high class gentlemen. And I don't know nothing about this sport, but a uh, brother ain't looking too swell. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. Sir, I need you to stop right there. This is exactly why I don't pretend to play games. Uh, I don't know how to play. One or two more of those, and a uh, Pillsbury Doughboy over here might just break his ankles. Um, my ankle seems to have swollen up. I might have tucked a little too soon there. <laughs> but no, it's been like, what, two days? Maybe? And Tom, being a relatively normal person, kinda, is just trying to relax, take her out, give her a good time, get to know who this stranger is, and all she's thinking about, since the very first day, mind you, is where a rusted, crusty banana is. Rally. Tom and I have not been intimate yet. I'm ready for some passion. Wicked. Cricket yes. wicked. Sounds like the sex term. Sounds to me like a mating call for, uh, desperation. Wicked, wickets, yes. wicked, wickets, wicked. These grammars are wildin' out here. Now I've come up with the hypothesis. Anytime and every time there's the appearance of magic juice, aka liquor, um, Darcy gets a little emotion now. For absolutely no reason. For example, so he takes out the dinner, right? And I'll be honest, sometimes a dude just hungry, he just so happened to be there. And that's totally could be the case. I, I, have you seen this man's belly? Oh, no, 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 no. Hey, Ian, it's over here acting like this man's the second coming to Jesus. You just, honestly, they're blowing me away left and right since I've arrived. I've never felt like such a woman. <laughs> uh, yeah, if you've never felt like a woman prior to us having dinner, uh, I'm gonna need some DNA tests. Wrap it up. Like, this is her third time in like two days basically saying the exact same thing. If I have to hear, you're just. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> one more time. I might just trip myself down a flight of stairs. Like Darcy has this weird habit of uh, not completing sentences. Like she'll say a couple words, pause, and say another couple words, pause, and then never stops. So anyways, they're eating dinner and her inner freak starts getting a little impatient because two days is two days too much. And she starts acting crazy. Right with your nails. So you gotta like put under your nail. There you go. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. <laughs> These grandmas are wildin' out here. I'm sorry, that's straight up nasty. Tom just be the dude that look like his breath be kicking all the time. And he just ate. Aw, oh, nah, that's a pass. You basically just ate some booty crack. Imagine me and the kid next to them. He just so happened to be watching this midlife crisis pull these freaky stunts in a public restaurant. What the flipping pancakes going on around here? So anyways, they get home, right? And I guess Tom finally got the hint. Hooray, hooray, Tom is not Tim. He does have something. And Darcy gets her uh, fiber for the day. Well, fast forward a couple hours and uh, Darcy already at the end zone. Wedding dress and all. Hmm. Ow. The watches are nice. Yes. And the diamond ring. Sometimes I like them a little bigger. Yeah, I like the white diamonds. 
Bruh. Keeping our eyes on the prize. What the hell? Darcy, you spent like three days slow, you little crabby legs down. He hasn't even met your kids. You don't even know where he lives. You don't even know if you fart yet. But uh, we've been talking for like four years. Yeah, but you were dating Jesse the Weasel like the last three. What the hell? Look, if a man's about to hit 40 and he's still on the market, chances are he's either dookie and or broke and or got commitment issues. Keyword, chances are. Either way, it ain't looking too good for you, Darcy. Anyway, so they do end up flying to Albania to meet up with her twin sister and the uh, Florian dude. Good? I think so. Wait, I think I need to change shoes because Stacy's gonna have her heels on. You wanna unpack all the bags at the side I of the mean, street so you're the same height as your sister? I don't wanna be shorter than her. Bruh. Kill me, please! So, right off the bat, you can kinda already tell that Darcy got a little problemo with comparing and contrasting herself with her sister. And Tom's over here like, You don't even know what shoe she's wearing. Oh, she knows. Because her sister got the same problem. And maybe it's just a twin thing. I don't know. But the whole, I'm the better twin attitude pretty much summed up the whole trip. Hey, oh my god. Hey. <laughs> you good? Yeah, good. You? Of course, she came all dolled up. Yeah, that's what we do, you know. Nice dinner. Very handsome and super nice. Yes, he does. <laughs> so it's been like, what, two minutes? And Stacy are coming out swinging with low blows. Look the same in person, huh? Want to know who don't, Tom? I don't got old money, but I got old photos, Brooks. When's he going to arrive? <laughs> <laughs> now, speaking of Tom, at this point, he's a little annoyed because you know he flew there, was told to meet at this restaurant, and waited nearly an hour for these two to show up. <laughs> Probably because Stacy wanted to be a little extra. Now, Stacy invited them here so that she could get to know Tom, but didn't take very long for the old I'm the better twin out of Tui to start popping off. You got your camera, babe? Yeah. It's your hair. It's yours. Come on. Gotta paint that frizz. I know. Why'd you do your hair up like that? Because I just wanted to wear it. It's like up. a pom pom. Bruh. It's all right. All good. Like a rat I'm stuff. all good. Worry about yourself. See what I mean? What are y'all even fighting about? Both your hair look the same. Come on. Gotta. Crusty. If you squint hard enough, you might even see a haystack. Now, this whole hair thing ended up being the little push, the little motivation that both of them needed to start unleashing the uh, inner pettiness. So Stacy was like, Yo, Tom, what's your dream wedding, buddy? And Tom was like, I don't really spend that much time thinking about being married. So consequently, Darcy got saltier than a pretzel. <laughs> I'm happy you're engaged. It's a blessing. Do you really want me happy, Darcy? I don't know. I was thinking the same thing about you. I've been engaged for three and a half years. Like, let me enjoy the moment. Everything be good, Darcy. So this went on like the whole trip. Just straight up savages. No remorse. But the real question is, why does any of this even matter? Like I know Darcy want her little fairy tale ending. But woman, you're like 45. Screw all of that. At some point, you just gotta realize, love ain't working now. I gotta love myself now. Yo, is that Boris? For real though, you start doing big things and suddenly you're gonna start looking like a snack. Like why you gotta settle for Pillsbury Doughboy is beyond me. Anyway, so after this whole altercation, Tom was like, maybe y'all two need to talk it out. So she pulled Stacy aside like some green beans and somehow, some way, they changed the whole narrative. Well, I think it's our demeanor and, and the energy. It's an attitude that a lot of guys don't like and it, come, it rubs people the wrong way. Oh, well, yeah. Maybe he's using the excuse of the twin possibly. What? So somehow the blame has been shifted to Mr. Tom on why this trip has been horrendous. <laughs> I mean, the insight here is just impeccable. You would think that after spending so many hours per day looking in the mirror, they would know exactly who to blame. But unfortunately, this minor agreement did not last very long. Take some advice from me for once. Your relationship, you know, it's great and all, but I don't think it's perfect. Bruh. You're three years in engaged or whatever is that really the life you want we haven't broken up we've been together well, why aren't you married yet then you know they biggie man when they face be looking like this now here's the issue with Stacy and Darcy got a point. She's been engaged like two or three years now to Kermit the Frog. What you feel is is coming for you. And for some reason, she feel like she the Dr. Phil of relationships, giving out unneeded advice. You are not that much better off. I feel like she'd be the person that acts like she got good intentions, but deep down she want to see you suffer. Just when it feels easy, that's when you know it's right. Yeah. She's an angel. He loves me, Darcy. He loves me for life. I feel like she's taking every opportunity to throw it in my face. Okay? She's jealous. As you can see, the pettiness is just unreal. And Darcy's getting a little jealous because her man ain't really all about that life. But Stacy seems to be enjoying this way too much. You stop you it. You have the love. I've been stabbed in the heart so many times. What you feel is stuff is coming for you. Like, you don't understand. It's been you is a mess. I've seen it. <laughs> I've seen Darcy cry so many times, it's just funny now. I don't even think I saw one tear. Like, you don't understand. It's been I, how 
are you even doing that? That's just crazy. Let me remind you, this woman been living for half a century and she's still doing this. Holy Caesar conquered nations in half a century. <laughs> think about it but anyways that was kind of like the breaking point for them to like head back to the uk and the first thing tom does is invite her out to watch him salsa dance because <laughs> who else would put a little bit of this love life success happiness what the hell did you not just see what happened mr stevie wonder like, you don't understand <laughs> <laughs> some people just never learn should i be jealous <laughs> why does he do that with me though shouldn't they have asked like properly like a few moments later. That's Here I go. <laughs> you see that? Darcy is not that serious. And what the avocado is Devin doing here? Where is Ji Hoon? Because Pillsbury Doughboy's wildin' out here. So Darcy's so insecure that seeing her man dance with the opposite gender gets her all rowdy. And Tom knows exactly what he's doing. The man's ego's bigger than his belly, believe it. So anyways, he takes her out for one last dinner before he has to like ship her back. And instead of giving her a ring, he gives her this. I love you. I actually have something I'd like to give you. What I'd like to offer you is the key to my house. What the hell? <laughs> Knowing Tom, that's probably a key to a cardboard box. <laughs> <laughs> you see that? I told you, Darce, he don't even love you like that. Bet Monopoly money. I know exactly what he's doing when he's getting home. Change him locks. Ch -ch <laughs> but hey, what do I know? I'm just sipping so. <laughs> Coming for you.